So I'm changing it up this morning. I am having an omelette. So in here I've got some red onion and mushroom. So they're both speed. Um, and I fried that off in this zero calorie spray that I tell you about. Um, it says it's zero calories. But when I scan it on the Simmer World app, it's actually six sprays for half a sin. Well, I don't use six sprays, so I class it as free. Um, so, yeah, and then I've got two eggs in there. So I'm just going to fry that off into an omelette. And that will be my breakfast. And I'll just have a tablespoon of the, the ketchup with it. So I'll show you when it's all plated up. And happy birthday to my son, Ethan. He is 14 today. So it's the 8th of June. Um, I cannot believe he's 14. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to make my coffee and then I'll show you this when it's all plated up. So that's it plated up. My mushroom red onion omelette with a tablespoon of this ketchup for half a sin. So I'm going to go and enjoy that with my coffee and I'll catch you all later. So I wanted a little bit more um, of a substantial lunch today because I'm not getting a cooked meal for tea. So I've got uh, the rest of the bag of the stir fry veg that I had the day before yesterday. Uh, I just fried that off in the uh, zero calorie spray with some uh, garlic and... Soy sauce, I couldn't think what I was trying to think of then. <laughs> and I've got a salmon fillet, which again is just in the spray oil. <clears throat> and some lemon juice and uh, some salt and pepper. So that is my lunch. So it's lots of speed and the uh, salmon is free and protein. So whilst everyone else is having a takeaway tonight um, for my son's birthday... I was going to have a Subway salad and all the Subways were shut that we went to, so I was absolutely gutted. So trying to stay on plan, I have opted for the Slimming World Beef Tagliatelle. I've never had it before, so we'll see what it's like. So yeah, I'm surrounded by, at the moment, chips and kebabs and all those lovely things. So I'm going to hopefully enjoy this. So my son had a metal detector for his birthday, so we're, we're out experimenting. Very long grass. <laughs> She's loving that long grass. <laughs> She's just running a minute ago. It's just worrying that there were... In case there's any ticks here. So we've just got back from going out with um, my son's main birthday present, which was the metal detector. He's been wanting one of those for a while. So, and the thing is, I mean, he's 14 and he's got absolutely everything, you know, as they do now at this age. Last year he had his biggest present ever um, built his own PC um, and then like Christmas he had another monitor because he wanted to what's the word stream um, you know and got phones got Xbox so there's nothing physically more that he would actually need so his choice this year was a um, metal detector and um, he put down if possible, if not the metal detector, um, a proper dartboard because he's had dartboards before, which have been, you know, like the real kiddie ones, the um, suction ones or whatever. Magnetic. Magnetic, that's the word. Um, but this one is like the proper, proper dartboard. So, so he had that, so he was very pleased with that. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so as I said, <laughs> they all had to take away and gutted that I couldn't get, I was going to get a Subway salad because I thought, well, at least I'm going to have like a takeaway. Um, I was going to have, I looked on the app and 
it said a shish kebab, three sins each. Well, I've not, I've never had a shish kebab. So when they went to the place where they got their takeaway, I said uh, to my husband, if they got shish kebab, then perhaps I'll have that and I won't have a similar world meal. Um, they didn't do shish kebabs, but the girl said that they do chicken tikka one. But I wasn't sure on the sins on that. Obviously, obviously I wouldn't have had it with pitta. Um, I would have just had it with salad, which is what the shish kebab said for three sins. So I wasn't sure on sins for the chicken tikka one. Um, so if any of you know uh, how many sins it would have been for future reference, I'd love to know. So yeah, so I had that for my tea, the Simi World meal, and it was really, really nice actually, and very, very filling. So I did say maybe next time, um, I think it would do two of us, to be honest. Um, especially, if, I mean, tonight I didn't want to be messing about doing extra veg and everything because they were, you know, they had their food and I just wanted to sit down and, and sort of join in. Um, but next time I think it would feed two of us um, and then put a load of extra speed veg with it. So, but yeah, definitely one that I would um, purchase again. So, as you saw, I had the breakfast, for breakfast I had the omelette, and that was different for a change. Um, it was quite filling. And then my lunch, I really enjoyed my lunch, the salmon and stir fry veg, so that was nice. Um, and then this afternoon, which I haven't filmed, um, reason being, it was a bit busy, and it's not really the thing to do to start getting your camera out and filming when it's your son's birthday and you've got everyone around. So um, I had, I spoke about this yesterday in group and the cut up and said that you can have, I think it was 25 grams for, I can't remember what she said, sins now. And I got it wrote down. But anyway, I had... Mine would come in at 29 grams, and I haven't had any sins today apart from the tablespoon of ketchup and the yogurt for half sin. So I've had one sin all day, so I'm not going to have anything sin wise tonight. I'm going to allow the 14 sins to cover me for that cake, which I'm sure is is ample. Um. Yeah, so that's everything. I did make this afternoon uh, one of the jellies where I like whip the mix the cork into it. So that's in the fridge that I I could have some if I wanted to. Obviously, it's one and a half sins for the jelly, um, and I got some strawberries and raspberries. But I don't think I'm going to have it because I'm feeling quite full actually. And if I have anything at all, I think it's going to be an orange. I've had. Two satsumas today and a nectarine. Um, so yeah, if I have anything, it might be an orange. Um, and that's, I think I, that's all I need to tell you. And I did show you earlier when I was doing breakfast the spray oil that I talk about. So six sprays of that comes in at half a sin. Well, I never use six sprays, so I just don't count it. Um, whether you think that's right or wrong, then that, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go. And I'm really, really tired. I woke up at half past five this morning and could not go back to sleep. So I'm feeling a bit, like, tired now. And with the busyness of the birthday celebrations and everything. So I am ready to just go and get into my PJs and relax for the evening. So, and thank you so much to everybody that saw my community post earlier on, um, on my face-to-face. -face. Rather a difference. And, you know, it's... Times like yesterday when you feel a little bit want to give up kind of thing, um, you look back on that and think how far you've come and, you know, you don't want to go back to that again. No way do I want to go back to that. So it's pretty scary looking back at that to see just how big I was. I mean, my son found a video the other day, which I'd love to show you, but I won't because my son is on there um, and he's very much, he doesn't want to be, you know, put on here, which I can understand. Um, 
but I was massive. I was like a balloon. I was sat on um, a dining dining room chair, and my stomach was literally hanging down to the chair. It was just I was huge, massive. Yes, my husband's like taking the mick out of me, but honestly, I can't I can't really remember me being that big. But obviously I was that big. And when you look back, you think, oh my God, how did you let yourself get like that? But anyway, I did. And a lot of mine was steroids, mind. Um, I was on steroids for a while, but still, it wasn't all steroids. A lot of it was fatness. <laughs> um, overeating, of course. But anyway, I'm going to go and I shall catch you all again tomorrow. I'm going out for lunch tomorrow to Harvester. I've had a quick look and I think the best option for me is a baked potato and grilled chicken. I think that's what I found anyway. And I'm hoping that they still do the salad bar so I can get some of that. But then I don't want to be tempted with the bread rolls and such things. So I haven't been to Harvester for a long time, way before lockdown anyway. So, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.